Okay, aloha class. Aloha. Okay, so today I want to teach about SQ4. Have you heard SQ4 before? Yes. You have heard. Have you heard? No. So this is already I put here. So this is a reading strategy. So when you read something, so you if you have uh, kind of strategy for reading, you may be uh, you may able to understand much better and you can read fast. So today I want to teach this reading strategy. So first we can try to think about what does SQ4 arm stand stand for. So first what is SQ4? So the first S is survey and the second Q is question. And we have four oral, this read and recite and review. So those are uh, and also reflect. And these those are the four orals. And so how you can use those like, six steps. And uh, when you read the the articles or books, so before that you're going to think about which kind of book it is or what you can find from this book. So you're kind of thinking about how you can find it. So this is a, a way. Um, before reading, you can use the uh, survey so to get the titles or to read the headings or first sentences, and you can get the ideas about the books. And next is during reading. So you can use question. Maybe during reading you kind of have some questions. What next or maybe what the author wants to say. And also you just read, continue and keep reading. And then after you read the article or books, you can recite what you understood. And also you can review what you understood and like how you can connect and you reflect to your life or your study. So this is a kind of summary how you can use. So one more point I'd love to mention about is question. So as you make question, you always can use what, when, and how, and where, why questions. So these are really important to make questions because if you are just trying to make the question like, uh, is this author says this? Just so you can say yes or no. But if you are saying why this author is saying this, then you need to think about why. Because you are going to think or to find the reason. So we have some practice reading. So So we can try to read together and so we can get the ideas. So first, we are going to survey. So the survey is get the titles or headings or um, first sentences. So what is the title? Captain Henry Morgan. Yes, Captain Henry Morgan. So, and we can try to read the first sentence. Can you read or if you are hard to see, I can try to make bigger. Okay. So, so can you read the first sentences? Just one sentence. Well, first paragraph or first sentence? Just first sentence. Okay, now we come to the greatest of all the pioneers. Even to this day, his name is a charm to call up his deeds of day, his courage, his cruelty, and his hunger for gold. So can you read the, the progress first sentences? So the next is here, the first one. 
the first attempt that Captain Henry Morgan ever made against any town in the Spanish Indies was a bold, was a bold attack on the city of Puerto del Principe on the island of Cuba with just a handful of men. And next paragraph, the first sentence is um, here. The pirates. The pirates returned to the to their boat with stolen treasure, careless of the whole island of Cuba. And can you read this sentence? Rude and dishonest as Captain Morgan was, he seemed to have had a wonderful power for persuading the wild pirates of his crew to follow him without question, in spite of the vast sum of money that he had apparent, apparently stolen from them, new recruits poured in to work with him, until his band was larger and better prepared than ever. Just one sentence is fine, so oh. <laughs> and then you can read this sentence. <laughs> Next, they decided to plunder Porto Pell. Thank you. So, um, if you read the, that's the first sentences, you kind of get the ideas about this book. Yeah. And also, during the uh, when you read, you kind of think about what going on, what, what going to next. So this is a making question, like how the Captain Morgan move or where the Captain Morgan move or what he is going to do, and so you can try to think about. And also, you read it. And also, you are going to recite what you understand together. And also, let's give a reflect review as well. So, I have a worksheet here. And you can use. So, this one is already like saying that how you can use your SD4. Just like So I love to uh, get from there instead. So let's try to find the other article that we can read. give you time about one minute that you can try to read this by yourself that using the strategy that I told you. Is that hard to see? It is hard to see. Mm -hmm. Can you read it? No. So you can try to recite together in your group that what you understood. Just the time. 
I don't know. <laughs> but it's there's a story of um, you know this girl who wanted to write a letter to her mom, but she didn't know how to say it in words because words weren't made alphabet was made, so she just dropped pictures. And I didn't finish it all. Now you can try to uh, say what you understand now. So each one of you, what did you understand? Mm -hmm. Okay, so what I understand from reading in the second time is that they have each uh, alphabet, for example, like snake, they try S, I mean the word, the alphabet is S. So they said S stands for name and so it also uses for and so um, they were trying to teach her how to uh, not only to know the word but also know how to pronounce it and what they taught her. <laughs> so what is, did you feel the difference first and second time? First time and second time? Your like, comprehension? Yes. Your, was it like higher than before? Yes. Yeah. So as you this strategy, so your comprehension is going to be better. And also your reading rate is also get higher or you can read faster. So you need to keep practice this strategy that you can read really better. And I passed the worksheet today, so this is the assignment for today. So you can try to choose one article that I'm going to post, and you can just try to read and use that strategy. Okay? Okay. So is there any question? No. Okay. That's good. Uh, okay. You're good to go today. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.